And welcome into my math party, people. Anderson here, your math coach. And we're gonna kick this series off by learning about percents, but specifically, first of all, how to turn a percent into a decimal. Now, why is this important? Well, the thing is, whenever you're completing percent problems, it's more than likely that whenever you incorporate that percent into whatever you're solving for, you're gonna have to turn it into a decimal before you actually multiply. So this first video, although it might seem easy, it is one of the most important things you need to learn before you really dive into percents. So let me go ahead and show you here. So the objective here of this video again, showing you how to turn percents into decimals. Let's start with number one. Number one says, hey, 41.9%, let's turn that into a decimal. So long story short, my math party people, here's how to turn a percent to a decimal. What you're gonna do is you're gonna understand what the word percent means. Percent, per cent, which literally translates to out of 100. That is literally what percent translates to. Percent out of or for every 100. And so what that means by math party people is very simple. Out of 100 means divide by 100. So to turn a percent into a decimal, write this down, to turn a percent into a decimal, divide it by 100. And there's a shortcut to dividing by 100. You can go ahead and say, hey, I'm gonna divide by 100 like that. And then you can do your thing, which is really not necessary because remember, when you're dividing by, we call it powers of 10. So like 10, 100, 1,000, 10,000, blah, blah, blah. Basically, you're just gonna move the decimal place over to the left two times. That's it. When you divide by 100, move it to the left two times. That is it. So when you have 41.9, you'll take that decimal place and you move it once, twice to the left. So you get 0 0.419. And right there, there's your answer. It is really that straightforward, really, really, really that straightforward. And when you go backwards and you turn a decimal to a percent, you're gonna move that decimal place to the right two times. That's really it. So remember that my math party people, turning a percent to a decimal, move that decimal to the what? To the left two times. And then when it comes to turning a decimal to a percent, move the decimal to the right two times. That is it. So we're taking a look at number two, 16.5%. Well, we'll just write out 16.5 and then we're going to say, hey, we're going to move that decimal to the left one, two times 0 0.165, just like that. One of the biggest things you have to watch out for is when you have a single digit number or a single digit percent, but the rule stays the same. So I'm going to skip over here to number, uh, number seven here, 7%. So very, very, very often people think that something like 7% is going to equal 0 0.7, but that is wrong. That is wrong, all right? I wanna make sure I make that very, very, very clear. Remember, we're gonna write it out, 7%, and you're gonna take that decimal place and move it over to the left once, twice, and there's where the decimal ends up. And before we continue, my math party people, really quick before we continue, I know that you're enjoying this video and I wanna make sure that more people can enjoy these videos just like you. So if you wouldn't mind, just take a quick second, like this video, comment on it, just showing some appreciation, showing what you learned, and then make sure you're subscribed to the channel so that way when we come out with new videos, typically every day, you can be right there on the spot to catch on to them. So help us help others ace the ASVAB. I'm Anderson, let's keep going here. And so there's a space here and you have to put a zero there. So 7% is not 0.7, 7% is 0 0.07. 0 0.07, not 0.7, okay? Biggest mistake that a lot of people make move that decimal over two times and any empty spaces that you see, put a zero in there and you are fine. So let's check it out over here, 85%. So again, you start off with the 85 and you're gonna take that decimal and move it to the left once, twice, and you're good, 0 0.85. Here are a couple of other examples that I want you to see. Let's go ahead and say we're taking a look at 2.1%. If we wanted to turn something like 2.1%, into a decimal, same idea applies on that part of people. You're gonna take that 2.1 and you're gonna go ahead and take that decimal right over here and move it to the left once, twice. And so it's gonna be 0 0.021. Again, just follow the rules and you're fine. Move the decimal over to the left two times. Any empty spaces, put a zero in there and you're fine. That's really in my math part of people. So I know this one's a very short video because it goes through a very, 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 very short and straightforward procedure. So again, turning percents to decimals, 
move that decimal over to the left two times and you're good. Again, I'm Anderson, your math coach, and if you're in the course, you're gonna see a worksheet to practice just like this. And then beyond that, you have your speed drill sets, which is gonna help you understand that, hey, this needs to be automatic. That way, when you move forward in defining the percent of a number and calculating with a percent, you know exactly what to do, how to do it, and you never have to worry again. So again, I'm Anderson, your math coach, and I'll see you in the next video. My party people, as always, thanks for watching. Please make sure you're subscribed to the channel. That way you can see all the updates that we come out with so you can keep improving. So don't wait, subscribe now, and then while you wait for the next video, look here or there to see a related video that's gonna help you improve even more. Let's keep raising that score and let's get the job we want. I'll see you soon.